Lance Sosi, aka Modern Warrior, has not actually come out and given an official statement about what's going on on TikTok, this huge scandal. However, Amanda, aka Banana Amory, decided that it was her obligation to post his side of the story. So let's see what she says. Do you remember when I said this? I think we all remember that. I used as a pawn by people with larger follower counts than me, banking on my kindness to cover up and not acknowledge their shitty fucking behavior. And this? I'm done. The truth is what needed to be out there. I needed to tell my story so that Lance didn't use his platform any longer to take advantage of women. That's what needed to be said. That is the truth that needed to be talked about, not everything else. And she said it. I would rather risk losing my entire platform to tell the truth exactly as I know it to be than to sit back and watch a misogynistic man drag me through the mud and refuse to take any responsibility for this mess that he's made. As a strong woman who was raised by a strong woman, who was surrounded by strong women, and who has a platform based in empowering women, I cannot sit here and watch this man pretend to be a victim as he continues to lie and manipulate. And if I stay quiet, then all of this was for nothing. All of the pain that was caused was for nothing. I have been quiet for nearly two weeks now to protect him. But if he's going to- See, I thought she was scared. Be quiet, then I am no longer afraid of him. And if you're Lance's lawyer, are you okay with him threatening me twice? If you know me, then you know that I'm a fairly reserved person. I always try to speak with intention. I'm careful. I care about the truth. And I care about respecting others above all else. So to be threatened by the person who has been lying to me for months is not, not something that I can ignore any longer. Where are the threats and how are they happening? With Lance. Something I don't normally do and I typed out what it is that I wanted to say. I did this because what I have to say is important and I don't want to mince words or forget anything. I Very eloquent. I made many mistakes with how this all played out. The first one being supporting Chelsea at the beginning, though I don't regret why I supported her. I didn't know her before all of this started, so I didn't know the type of person she was or what she was trying to do. That's why on the day that I was finally able to get some perspective, I made the video revoking my support of her. But being in the middle of everything, including my own heartbreak, meant I wasn't able to see who she really was, was at first, like many BIPOC creators were able to. He's been lying to me, manipulating everyone for months. Me, Chelsea, and Karen, and all of his followers. This is why you haven't seen a word of accountability come from his mouth. He only went on live and he just talked about superheroes. People have been saying we want Lance's side as a way of showing support for him over the past few days, but I've been saying that since the beginning. And the reason- Which is understandable. People would want his side because it sucks. Say anything. She caught him cheating on her and blew up on him the night before this all came out, and he made the decision not to ask for help. Instead, he posted a pitiful apology video, quoting me no less, and I have to find out he was cheating on me through TikTok. That made it clear to me that he did not care about me, does not respect women, and was only interested in protecting himself. He's made it even more clear in his two weeks of silence while he lets women act as a shield for him so he doesn't have to do anything. That's very true. He knew he come to me and said, Amanda, I fucked up. And no matter how mad I was at him, I would have helped him. He knows that. There is not a bad thing that man can say about me because I was a great friend to him and he knows that too. Instead, he wanted to sit back and let everything play out without ever holding himself accountable. This all started because he lied to so many people for the sake of protecting He really could have gotten himself into and more trouble though if he had spoken out though. Form in his image. That is why he is more interested in apologizing to his followers when he messes up and not to the individuals he hurt. He has never apologized to any of us for the lies he told. He did apologize to Chelsea. It just was a terrible and apology. Fight fight this out meant, meant he was going to get, get off the hook relatively clean. clean. And it, it worked. worked. So you, you want to know Lance's side? I'll, I'll tell you his side. side. This is the third and final part of what I'm going to post about this. And I'm also going to read what I already wrote so that I don't miss anything. He has flirted with, sent nudes to, requested nudes from, and tried to have more women than just Chelsea and I fly out there to visit him. He used his platform as a way to protect himself and thought it would prevent him from getting caught. He knew the type of person Chelsea was and still had her come visit him, even though they both made it sound like she wanted it more than he did. She was there the day before he posted a TikTok with another creator, the video that both Chelsea and I saw and found out he was dating somebody else. On March 3rd, in the beginning of all this, him and I were on the phone and he referred to me as his partner and he acknowledged what a true friend I was for still trying to protect him despite everything that has happened. 
He told me that what we had was different, and he never saw Chelsea as anything more than a friend, and that what they had was not like what we had. The romantic part of our relationship was on and off at that point because he wanted to date a woman of color because they could better relate to him and understand race in a way that a white woman could not. He's not wrong, but the timing seemed a little suspicious. It was very convenient that the video he had posted that weekend was with a woman of color creator on TikTok who is now posting videos in support of him while also saying things like, This is like your third girlfriend. I'm like, Chicken heads aren't girlfriends. Let's just be straight. On her lives, even though he continues to lie to her to protect his own ass, especially since he destroyed his relationship with Aunt Karen, who refused to continue to support him after spending months defending him against lies he told everyone. Lance's side includes having women writing his apology videos and us explaining to him why what he has said and done is problematic. While he can save face publicly, we are doing the emotional labor for him, and yet he never seems to learn from his mistakes. He continues to post videos out of anger because he needs to get the last word in and be right, even at the expense of reason. Lance's side is being married to a white woman, lying about it, and having his friends defend his lies because he refused to even tell the woman he was in a relationship the truth. The reason you will never hear Lance's side and the reason he is trying to threaten me into silence is because he knows there is nothing he can say that I can't contest, that I don't have rece receipts to disprove. So you should know that anything else he posts about this situation further implicates himself as a misogynist and a hypocrite. He chose to lie to people he knew cared about him as a way to further himself on a platform he used to lie and manipulate on. He told me more than once that he was going to leave TikTok for good and give his account over to an indigenous woman, and he has been saying that for months, and yet he continues to make his own content. I stand by everything I have said, and I know I have dozens of women who will defend me if necessary. I have been silent out of fear of what he was going to do, but I cannot allow this man to continue to manipulate me in order to protect himself. I messaged him today asking if we could talk, but he read it and didn't respond. Lance, if you'd like to talk now, I'm happy to go live with you. Otherwise, this is done. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll be posting as many updates as I possibly can, always with captions to make sure it's deaf and hard of hearing friendly. Thanks, everyone.